Hi all and welcome back to your channel. So I am at Bramley Moor but I've come down in the evening and, and I, I don't know I've left it a bit too late because it's getting quite dark now so we're um, <clears throat> going to have a look around and uh, bring up some talking points before I lose the lights but it does look good at night doesn't it? All the lights so yeah let's go over and have a look around. Let's get right up to cranes first. I'm going to it down at the stand. Okay, it's quite windy, it's been windy all day today. I've been to Anfield today as well. So I'm not trying to get a lot done this week, um, YouTube wise. So. Again, that stand's taking shape down there. Yeah, the east stands. Looking really well. Oh, let's go over the north stands. Loads of concrete terracing gone in there. Play around and we'll get some talking points. <coughs> See where it's all going to join up nice. Look at that now, that, that is a football ground now, and that, that is a football stand. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so if uh, the thing about me and um, being a photographer is I really like clouds um, clouds make a, photo a good photograph oh, let's have a look down here loads going on down there um, you know what I'm just I'm just inside the boundaries of where Everton don't want me to be, and that's going to be one of my talking points. Okay, so let's get over. Just stand here. Again, loads of concrete terracing going in. Brilliant. Well above the cranes, so um, let's go over to the let's go over to the south stand and uh, look in, get to some of these talking points. You know what? Let's have a look at the city from here. Now. Amazing, isn't it? Look at it. How good does Liverpool look at night? We'll have, we'll have a we'll have a quick scan round. Bring it down and go over a touch. So, number one talking point is Everton's been in touch with the, all the drone flyers to tell us that um, midweek um, updates have been cancelled. They don't want us doing them. Which I put it out last week if people wanted me to do it, and he said, no, basically, I, I, I don't want to do it anyway. Um, but what's happened is, people have been coming down, flying the zones right through the site while people, while people are working, and Everton have said, if, if that happens, um, then they're just going to shut the site down and send the workforce home. So, you're doing it for the other drone flyers, if it's you, 
and I am. Um, it's not fair on everyone else, and more importantly, you're holding up the uh, the building work of the grounds. So just try not to do it. But, um, it's not fire on the ones that, that want to do the midweek videos. I, I don't, and when I, when I put it out to everyone in the, co in the comments section, they said that they, they, they prefer one a week. They want to see, they don't want to see small, um, progress updates. They want to see like big progress updates on a uh, this one is there's quite a lot going on. Okay. Um so I said well the water we cleans right up. Um I don't want to make that question. It I think it means the docks either side, so what is it isn't one of canoe club just up the way there? Uh, by the Titanic Hotel. So Surely the water's got to be clean enough to uh, do canoeing in there. Just get a look at the corner view. Hey. Oh yeah, the away fans are going to be situated in the northeast corner. So over there, opposite where I am now, that's where the away fans are going to be sitting. Uh, someone was asking and loads of people answered that question so thank you for um, doing that for me someone said will security let you on site to take photographs I think the answer to that's going to be no you're going to need all sorts of clearance and I don't, I don't think they're going to risk it just to let you take photographs I'd like to get on site to take photographs if you even asked but I don't think it's going to happen be nice too though. God, it looks great at night, doesn't it? I might do some more at night. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, how far from the city centre are we? Is the grounds and what else was it? And can you see Anfield? So, oh, I'm in a good place here. So yeah, you can see Anfield. There's a game on tonight. So, this is how close we are to the city centre, which I've just shown you. It's a 10 minute walk, 15 minute steady walk. There's Anfield in the, in the distance there. Yeah, so it's not that far away. Um, rust proofing for the st on the steel. Uh, yeah, someone's asked about rust, proof rust proofing on the steel. Uh, people have tried to answer that question, but um, like I've, I've got alloys on my car now, powder coated, and it's not that I should suffer rust anyway. But powder coating your steel should um, help it not to rust. It's very mindful of the wind up there because um, I don't want my drone blown away. Why is the the, uh, the terrace going up randomly rather than block by block? Someone's asked. You know what, I'll get back round. I'll do me sweep along the uh, the south stand while I'm over this side. Yeah, so, so if someone can answer that one. Let's get nice and low. I'm doing my sweep along the stands. That's some engine on that car, isn't it? Still Amy, what the hell? 
And let's get a bit lower. Let's see where I'm here. Yeah, should be honest, get a little bit closer. And then a little bit lower. So I'm over the dock. Not interfering with the grounds. So I'll do my sweep along the stand as normal. There's loads of terrace have gone in there, as you can see. Right, let's just see where I am here. Yeah, still over the dock. And oh, no, I'll take you back up again. I think I've only got one more um, point to cover, and then that'll be me done. Um, and that will be. Oh no, I've got. Sorry, I've got three more. <laughs> it's almost a death. You can see the structure from Bidston Hill over the water, which doesn't surprise me because. Um, Um, you're going to be see this for miles from over the water. Let me get back out. So people can see what's going on. Okay. Um, oh yeah, someone's asked about access from the Mersey. Um... I have tried covering this point before and talk about ferries and water taxis and stuff I don't think there's anything concrete but it would make sense to get some sort of t uh, water taxi in there so yeah I think it'd be great for uh, youngsters coming over the water to, have to, to go to the match seeing the ground coming into view just be brilliant for them and so as I said <coughs> there's not many games left at Goodson Park now so enjoy it while you can because I know people have moaned about the grounds but when it's gone it's gone you, you're not going to have that um, authentic you know that history if you like of the grounds It's uh, something that's never going to be replicated and all you're going to have is memories once that's gone. So, yeah, there really isn't that many games left, is there? You've got the rest of the home games this season. Another 19 next season. And then, that's it, gone. Well, bar and cup runs, you know, it's not a lot of games. So, if you're an Everton fan, I'll get yourself down there um, and take it in while you can. Just uh, have a look what's around me. Yeah, so apart from that, guys, I'm going to leave it there. It's getting really dark now. I might take some photographs. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you all again soon, okay? Look, at you. look after yourselves.